What's going on, Salt Strong? Richard here. So, want to go over a quick tip. Uh, today it is crazy windy. We've got 20 mile an hour winds behind me. Uh, I got an outgoing tide, but something that we were struggling with a little bit was being on the trolling motor, and we were really starting to spook a lot of fish as we started going around. So, what we decided to do was actually anchor up. And I've got this stick right here. It's a boat stick. Got a nice lanyard on it. So, what I'm going to do in the future here is just kind of show you how we approach this area and how we were able to get this stick in safely and quietly. So we're gonna go ahead and show you exactly how we do it. Um, with the big motor and everything, no need for a trolling motor. You can ease in here really nice and quiet and be in a good area or choke point of your choice that is good to be anchored at. All right guys, so we're about to approach to our spot here. Uh, we're gonna be coming up on a point. We're gonna show it to you in a second, but really the first thing that you wanna do as you start to approach this point, you're going in nice and easy. You wanna make sure you don't have any wake or anything like that, because you wanna be as quiet as possible. But the first thing you wanna do and already have set up, guys, is gonna be your boat stick. So I went ahead and got it ready, because I'm by myself. And I wanna make sure that all I have to do is get up there, grab the stick, and then easily put it in once the boat has come to a stop. So as you can see, I'm going right towards the point right here. And all I'm gonna do is ease in here. And once I get probably about 20 or 30 feet out, I'm gonna go ahead and put the motor in neutral. I am not gonna shut it off because you wanna make sure you're safe in case anything happens. But again, I'm going into the current and into the wind. So that way my boat's not gonna run into the point. So right around here, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut the motor into neutral. And now I'm just gonna easily just kind of let it drift in right where I want and right around here. Okay, I'm in neutral now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get up here to the front. Now, once I'm up here, you wanna make sure all this rope and everything is out of the way. Go ahead and get your stick and you can just get right up here, be on a good knee and a solid platform. Also make sure there's no other boats or anything like that around. Cause once you get up here, especially when you're by yourself, a huge wake or something could easily put you over. So now that I'm in the spot that I want, I'm, you can see the boat's not moving towards the shore. Can go ahead, get a good stick right there. Now the boat sticks in probably about three or four feet in the ground. I've got a 19 foot boat and I'm just gonna easily kind of give it a little bit of tension so it doesn't you know, hit really hard and you're anchored. That's it guys. It's that simple, but it's super crucial that you have the current coming at you and the wind if possible, because that's going to make it when you approach, you're not going to continue to glide into any structure or oysters or, you know, anything that could be dangerous. And again, just make sure your surroundings are good before you go ahead and actually anchor or you get into the front of the boat because a big wake or something like that could easily knock you over. So just make sure you got those things set and good. Now that the motor is in neutral, I can go ahead and shut it off and we're ready to fish. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online club for saltwater anglers, especially if you're targeting redfish, sea trout, snook, or flounder. There's nothing else like it, and we actually guarantee that you'll catch more fish while saving time and money. We do this with our premium education, the exclusive insider community, and huge discounts on all the tackle you need. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, we hope to see you again soon.